the Chulu Hills. In Makueni County, Kenya's southeast, there is a mountain range known as the Chulu Hills. A rugged wilderness with some of the best views of Mount Kilimanjaro, Chulu Hills National Park still shows signs of its volcanic past. With its origins occurring only 500 years ago, the Green Chulu's mountain range is one of the most recent mountain ranges in the world. One of the longest caves in Africa, Leviathan Cave, or Kisela Caves, is located in Chulu Hills National Park and is roughly 11 kilometers long. The National Park is a portion of the Savo Conservation Region, which also includes the Kibwezi Forest, Savo West National Park, and Savo East National Park. The Chulu Hills are situated at a distance of 150 kilometers from the Kenya Rift. The Savo and Ambaseli Plains are separated by the Chulu Hills. Grassland and thicket make up the lower portions of the hills, while montane forest predominates above 1,800 meters. The Chulu Hills grasslands are home to cheetahs. In addition, there are about 300 different bird species in the park, as well as antelope families, elephants, bush pigs, giraffes, a variety of reptile species, insects, leopards, forest hogs, buffaloes, zebras, and wildebeest. For bird watchers, birding safaris can be organized in Lake Jaipe, which is located on the National Reserve's southwest side. The local population gathers natural cot that grows on the hills. Around the hills, there is a little amount of cot cultivation. The main tourist activities you should partake in while on a wildlife safari in Kenya are horseback riding, game drives, mountain climbing, cave exploration, beautiful views of Mount Kilimanjaro, birding, camping, and many more. Chulu Hills National Park is home to many of these activities. Despite the fact that Chulu Hills National Park is known as a year-round safari destination, visitors should be aware of how weather can affect the park's environment and animal behavior. This park's dry season, which lasts from July to October, is distinguished by having the least amount of precipitation. Between June and late October, there is a little dust, and there are brief rains. Much of the rain that does fall during the hot, dry time evaporates more quickly, especially in equatorial Kenya, and as a result, there is little left over for wildlife species to drink. The majority of animal behavior in the Chulu Hills National Park is heavily influenced by the availability of water or its shortage. During the dry season, when there is a shortage of water, these species exhibit an uncommon behavior. Although the majority of these dramatic wild animals are more aggressive and less tolerant of one another, which can lead to conflicts between them, the water sources become more crowded and sightings of them also grow easier. Around November and December, there are brief rains, followed by a warm, muggy, relatively dry period between January and February. The park suffers prolonged rains between late March and early June, at this period, the routes also turn muddy, making it more difficult for visitors to navigate the area. The wet season also has its benefits, particularly when the majority of impalas are seen giving birth and the foliage is exceptionally lush. The greatest time to go on a game drive in Chulu Hills National Park is during the cold, lengthy dry season, and for those of you interested in migratory species, their arrival in the park starts in October and lasts until April. Never forget to carry a warm sweater, fleece, poncho, or lightweight jacket if you're going on a safari to this park during the rainy season. Accommodations at the Chulu Hills National Park To help guests realize their aspirations, the park offers a variety of housing options most notably Camp Yakanzi, Spirit of Old Anya Lodge, Savo West Finch Hattons Camp, Savo West Kilaguni Lodge, Serena Lodge, Savo West Ngulia Safari Lodge, Tida Hills Lodge, and Savo West Salt Lake Lodge. Hopefully you got an idea of where to visit on your next holiday,